हेलो लिटरेचर लवर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट विल्फ्रेड ओइन ही वॉज एन इंग्लिश पोइट एंड सोल्जर एंड ही वॉज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग पोइट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर हिज वॉर पोइट्री ऑन द हॉर्स ऑफ ट्रेंचेज एंड गैस वॉरफेयर वॉज मच इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय हिज मैंटॉ सिकफील्ड ससू एंड स्टूड इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू द पब्लिक परसेप्शन of war at the time and to the confidently patriotic verse written by earlier war poets such as Rupert Brooke among his best known works most of which were published posthumously are Dulcel Decoramest Insensibility Anthem for Doomed Youth Futility Spring offensive and strange meeting. On twenty first October nineteen fifteen, he enlisted in the Artist Rifles Officers Training Corps. For the next seven months, he trained at Hare Hall Camp in Essex. On fourth June nineteen sixteen, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant on probation. in the manchester regiment initially when he held his troops in contempt for their lotish behavior and in a letter to his mother described his company as expressionless lumps however his imaginative existence was to be changed dramatically by a number of traumatic experiences he fell into a shell hole and suffered concussions and he was caught in the blast of a trench mortar shell and spent several days unconscious on an embankment lying among the remains of one of his fellow officers soon afterward owen was diagnosed as suffering from neurasthenia or the shell shock and sent to Cracklecart War Hospital in Edinburgh for treatment. It was while recuperating at Cockingrot that he met fellow poet Sigfil Sasson and encountered that was to transform Owen's life. Talking about his works owen was regarded by many as the greatest poet of first world war known for his verse about the horrors of trench and gas warfare he had been writing poetry for some years before the war himself dating his poetic beginnings to a stay at broxton by the hill when he was 10 years old the letter of W. B. Yeats was a significant influence for Owen, but Yeats did not reciprocate Owen's admiration, including from him from the Oxford Book of Modern Verse, a decision Yeats later defended, saying Owen was all blood, dirt, and sucked sugar stick, and unworthy of the poet's corner. of a country newspaper he is elaborate in all the great tragedies tragedy is a joy to the man who dies if war is necessary in our time and place it is best to forget its suffering as we do the discomfort of fever the romantic poets shelley and keats influence much of his early poetry and his great friend the poet sigfield sasson later had an profound effect on his poetic voice and owen's most famous poem dulcel decorous and anthem of the doomed youth show the result of sasson's influence owen's poem had the benefit of strong patronage and it was a combination of sasson's influence support from Edit Sitwell, 
these are some of the list of the works that really held him in better standing only five of Doin's poems were published before his death one in fragmentary form his best known are anthem the doomed youth fertility dulls el decronomast the parable of the young man and the youth and strange meeting however most of them were published posthumously in poems 1920 fundamental in these last poems poems soldiers dream that deals with owen's conception of war he remained a great war poet till his end and some strange relationship with his fellow one is also that's all for today do share your views thanks for listening